October the 12th at the Pico Rivera Sports Arena. Be there. You want to get your tickets early because, as Mr. Johnson said, this show will sell out. So they are available at www.ticketon.com. And they will be available possibly at the gate, but I wouldn't count on it. So get your tickets mm -hmm. early and get plenty of tickets. Of Cleveland, Ohio, he is trained by none other than Floyd Mayweather Sr. He is the former WBF World Light Heavyweight Champion, the former WBF All-American Light Heavyweight Champion, the former WBC USNBC Light Heavyweight Champion, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning and the defending GBO champion of the world in the heavyweight division, Ronald, the American Dream, Johnson. Thank you all for coming out to, today. It's not tonight, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a blessing to be here and um, you know, to be in front of all you guys, I'm glad everybody made it here safely. You know, I could write a book over the last two to three days of what it took just to even be here right now. Um, you know, some of you guys wouldn't even, you know, believe it, but I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're able to, to do this event. Now, you know, off of the business side, let me get to my fighting side. So, you know, it's going to be a war this time, you're right, but a smart war on my end. Last time, you know, the last fight, I fought this fight a little bit and it was it was a little more entertaining than I would have liked it to be. You know, I had some bumps and bruises coming out of the ring, so I definitely remember that night. But you know, it was a, you know it was a great fight for the fans of Las Vegas. It was, it was, it was lovely, but this time it's going to be a different story, different story. You know, it's going to be still entertaining, but you know, we're in the heavyweight division, so I know you guys like to see knockouts. I'm promising that. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, you get it wrong. once I once I put those combinations on him, he's not gonna, it's, he yeah. having, he, trust me, whole other thing, yeah. whole other animal. Don't let the soup fool you, come <laughs> Trust me, come on. All the great things, I appreciate everybody saying all this stuff. You know, I believe in those things, you know, humanitarian, all these good things, but come fight night. <laughs> I am a beast and I'm a dog and I'm a dog. It's like it's not gonna be fun. You know, he he was like a you know, like one of those mosquitoes in your house that won't leave. Every day I look on my Facebook, he writing, Champ, can we fight again? Can we fight again? Rematch, rematch. It's like damn. Well, you asked for it, so be careful what you asked for. So now you got it, you got what you wanted. So it's more than two weeks, so make sure you're ready. Cause I'm definitely gonna be ready. So Let's go, and I appreciate you all coming out. And October 12th, make sure y'all go get y'all tickets. Red Box and Promotions, or our studios, American Dream Presents. Y'all make sure y'all go and check well, it out. I'm getting ready for this fight. I'm training really hard. Um, I'm looking for a knockout, but I never like to underestimate my opponents. You know, my last opponent came out strong. Like I said, I do my talking in the ring. I don't like to talk bad about my opponent. You just never know. But I am looking for another knockout. Joe, I am what I am. So, three, 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 three. I don't really uh, do too much, you know, talking. I let my uh, performance talk for me. Um, but uh, all I can tell you guys is that I'm going to be more than ready. Um, like I said, I feel like I'm getting better and better every fight. What are you going to do to your opponent? <laughs> well, my opponent is to be announced. I'm finally going to catch weight at 142. And like I said on the podium, whoever it is, you know, they need to be ready because I'm ready right now. My question to all the fighters, who's their favorite fighter? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you got to say. Uh, no, you know, well, you know, my, my per you know, I grew up, my personal favorite was, you know, Roy Jones Jr. You know, uh, you know, at that time in it, when I started boxing and, 94. My first amateur fight was November 18, 1994, the night Roy Jones fought James Tony. And uh, ever since then, like, I was watching him. 
Now, you are trained by this amazing legend who has been inducted next to a Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, so he's uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr., the father of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Even how are you preparing yourself? Um, you know, running five miles a day, you training at the gym, and, you know, doing a lot of rounds and training with Mayweather Sr., so get, make sure I'm ready. It's like this event is going international. What is your goal in, uh, in this particular movement? Well, basically just to make myself marketable in all markets, whether it's in uh, the continent of Asia, um, the Middle East, um, all these different places. So what do you think about today's guys? There was no big fight. Everything was good. Yeah. It was very good and it was a lot of fun too. You, you made it fun. You made it happen. Brian just brought out a point to me. He said that uh, I didn't fight with him on the first fight. It's all right. I'm just going to say this, man. I'm making a real show. There it is. Ron Johnson is the best. I must confess. <laughs> the rest, there's no contest. <laughs> you gonna shock your mind? Hey, no, no drive, man. We gonna shake your mind. Let me tell you what else gonna happen. You gonna sleep. <laughs> Thank you for coming here. Thank you for coming we can expect from the upcoming fight with uh, Ron Johnson and his oh, 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 you, you, you will see a different fight. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a war. Ron Johnson going to get in my fast. They, they fought two. Uh, one time, Ron beat him. Uh, He's going to get whooped again. Right, but it, it, this is the real whooping. The real whooping this time. So the he was just asking for it. I believe that the last time, I believe that he was in shape, but not in shape like a coach, you know. But I'm finna, I'm finna make him, he gonna be in good shape. And then, then, yeah, I'm gonna have him where he can get up on his toes, and, and bounce around and stick them jab, jab, right hand hurt. I'm gonna make sure he got all that and more. We ready for it. Uh, I think you're gonna see some skills that you don't see from people that have nine to ten fights. That's what I think you're going to see. Um, pen and pencil. It's cool. So we'll just wait for a war. That's <laughs> how <laughs> I say it. <laughs> now I just want to try to, try to do my best this time. Try to do better and um, work hard at the gym every day. And whatever comes, that's on that. He ain't, gonna, he ain't gonna be able to get in there like you think he can. Cause my thing is, I, I, I got different boxing than everybody else. You got those tricks that nobody knows. Thank you. So what do you think he's missing? A lot? Yes. Very much a lot. Very much a lot. You know, Moses Miller, <laughs> AKA Mo Millions. You know, that's Mo Millions right there. That's my brother, that's my big brother. A lot of this stuff that I'm doing right now wouldn't even be possible if it wasn't for Mo. So. Now, who was the first guy that said something about Sugar Ray Leonard? <laughs> <laughs> I, I should be whooping his ass myself. <laughs> Let's get it on. I'm going to whoop his ass and tell you. <laughs> Young man. I know you're pretty old, but I think I can make a comeback. Wait, 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 you gonna make it come back? Come on, son, let's do it. Anytime you wanna do it, brother. Let's do it. I'm gonna whoop their ass. 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 I'
You know, you gotta enjoy what you're doing, and I'm loving every single moment of this journey. And Milton's just making it that much better. You know, I have the best coach in the world in my corner, and I can't ask for anything better. Well, somebody said Floyd was, so I'm about to take that trophy. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> One day. Not now. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Here. <laughs> Anytime you wanna do it, brother. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna whoop that ass. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You work with celebrities all the time. You're yeah. just you're training uh, Logan Paul. Yeah, Jake and Logan Paul. Matter of fact, before we came here, he was with Logan Paul running around. Have you ever had fighters that that will come to the point and say, "I'm giving up"? Well, nobody gives up on me. I can tell you that. Much. You get a quick That's tip, how you tell kick in the butt. Nah, nobody gives up on me. Right. So right. he's already seeing greatness. You know what I'm saying? Especially seeing two YouTubers that I took from scratch and made them win a title and the other one had a draw. But now they're coming back here November 9th and it's going to be too bad, so sad for KSI. And once everybody sees what he can do, forget about it. Party's over. Well, I, mean, I have a question. Yes, sir. And, and you're the expert on this, I'm sure. Come on, about did, did Marvel's Marvin Hagler beat Sugar Ray Leonard? No, he did not. He did not. No, he did not. Okay. Now, a lot of people he, he was back and forth. He was not he was not even close. Okay. I was closer than he was. <laughs>